Hey guys and girls, Nathan here. Just uh, thought I'd make a video to show you how to set up Google Calendar to be able to set up your default diary in, in Google Calendar and have it send you SMS text messages to your mobile phone as reminders um, before each activity occurs. So the first step, if you don't already have a Google email account, you need to go to mail, M-A-I-L, Dot google dot com, uh, which is where we are now. So Gmail is Google's mail service. It's a free way of setting up an email address. Um, and so if you don't already have a, a Google email account, you need to create an account. And just follow the, the process of, of entering your details till you um, create your own account. So that will take you through all of the steps needed to create your own Google email account. Um, and that is what you need to be able to log into Google Calendar. Uh, the, your, your Google email address and your email password will be the, the login details for Google Calendar. Once you've done that, then you just need to go to www.google.com forward slash calendar, C-A-L-E-N-D-A-R, and that brings us to Google Calendar. So this is what we were talking about the other day, um, and this was Sammy's um, genius, so I can't take the credit for it, I'm just making a video to show you how to use it. Um, but once you've got your Gmail account, um, come to Google Calendar, type in your Google email address, mine is nathan.holes at gmail.com uh, if you want to send me an email don't send it to that address because I don't actually use it as a primary email account um, so nathan.hulls at gmail is my address type in your password um, and we sign in so you can see I've already set up my default diary here in, in Google Calendar um, there's only one um, at, or one major issue with Google Calendar is at the moment you can't colour code your different activities so it's all the one colour that you choose. You can create multiple calendars and, and layer them over the top and have them as different colours but that's getting a bit technical for me. I only need one calendar for my default diary and it covers, you know, you can have a month or a, a week view. Uh, you can add to-do tasks, create the task lists for the day. Um, you can have it send you a, an SMS text reminder at a set time before each activity begins. You can have it send you your whole day's agenda to your email address so you can print that off or you can just log in here and, and have it running in the background so you can, can check it out as you need to. Um, before we go creating um, activities in our default diary, one thing that we need to do is go to this settings button in the top right corner and get our mobile set up. So you, you want, probably want to go through all of those general settings, make sure your time zone's right, uh, get all of that set up, that's pretty straightforward. But more importantly, if we go to mobile settings, um, so this has already been verified or validated. Uh, when you log in, uh, you'll need to enter your mobile phone number, uh, your country, so the country code being plus six one removes the zero from the front, and then your mobile number. Um, and then it will send you a verification code. It will send you a text message to your phone, um, and then you just type in your verification code here and hit finish. And once it's verified, it's all set up and ready to go. So if we go back to my calendar, now that we've got the, the mobile phone verified, back to my calendar. So when you want to create, you've got, if you've got a blank calendar, you want to create your events. It's as simple as double clicking your mouse button in, in the appropriate section. So for say for Saturday at 12, we want to create a, a new event. So I just double click there and we give it a name. So I might be going out for lunch with Kate, my wife. Then if we go to edit event details before we click create event, it gives us the ability to 
put in more details. We can have a start date and time and a stop time. We can set it whether we want it to repeat daily, every day, or just a one-off event. Um, but what we're looking at here down further is the options for us to have a reminder. Um, so what I've done is I've removed, it automatically gives you two reminders. I've removed one of them and set that to SMS. And my preference is to have an, an SMS message sent to me five minutes beforehand. Um, and then you save that, uh, which is down just a bit off the screen. So it's just a matter of creating your event, you know, setting the appropriate time if you want to put a description, um, and then setting your reminder either as email or SMS or pop-up if you're going to have your calendar open on your computer, you can have it create a pop-up um, reminder. So you set SMS at the, the number of minutes before each event, and so you go through every time you create a new event, you can set a reminder um, with repeating tasks. You know, if you want to set it to repeat every day, uh, whatever settings you create here will also repeat. So that's really pretty much it. You know, go through, create your your Google email account, which is your username and password. That will be your Google Mail address is your your username and the password that you create is your password. Um, come to www google.com forward slash calendar jump in there set up your default diary and then for each task set up your SMS reminder and don't forget to go through and um, put in your mobile phone details and have that verified so it can send you text messages and I think that's just brilliant um, so thanks to Sammy for that one um, and I hope this video has been valuable um, talk to you Thursday next week.